Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my videos, my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down and in a nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important and not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people who like to smoke, people who like to drink, people who like ayahuasca, people who like DMT. Listener's discretion is advised. Listener's discretion is advised. And of course, anyone who's a sensitive ass, okay, EDBs, emotional douchebags, uh, non playable characters, you should not watch my videos. I do not seek attention or approval or validation from the masses of asses. So I did not ask for your likes or subscriptions because I am very well content on this side, just doing this for noble deeds. Try not to look at my appearance as a form of you being biased or being any kind of beta male as I expected. So, let's get on with the topic for today. Today's topic will be about, depending on the food you eat, everybody's different. Now, an orange may make someone happy by another, while another person might be sad when you eat an orange. You have to experiment. This is common sense on the foods that make you exuberant, okay? I'm talking about this, and I'm also talking about how to keep women in their country, in their element, because this this protects you as a man, I'm talking to men in particular, because women can't do this and vice versa, they just don't do that, okay? Men don't cheat as much as women do, okay? So other than that, you know, I'm talking about these two topics at the same time, two birds with one stone. If you only get it here, plus I'm schizo, indigo, so no one is liking me on the internet right now because everybody's authentic in their own way. Some people like to copy. I don't do the copying things. I also do gross fest and also I do trolling on people who like to troll me. All right? So let's get on with the topic with the food thing. I realize that when I eat beans or something like that, I'll be farting up a motherfucking storm, right? Beans are very nutritious. Okay? And it's one of the elements that you're going to need to lose weight. Prune juice actually also is nutritious. It cleanses the bowels. Also, um, coconut milk. Lots of people who smoke, people who drink, they have low attention spans and they also have, um, you know, too much emotional baggage on them, okay? This is what I learned from my history. I try to stay clear from people who smoke a lot. They like to seek validation from other social media networks or other groups of individuals. So, if you want to focus on yourself, focus on the right foods to eat to feel more exuberant instead of being depressed. When you focus on eating the right foods instead of putting the wrong things in your mouth, you will be more happier successfully. You have to experiment because everybody's different. Like I said before, I got to repeat this because people don't pay attention. So, let's say for instance you like onion rings. Onion rings are very bad for you. So you eat them and they make you feel good. But in the long run, they're full of fat. So you got to think of the consequences of what you eat. There's some sacrifices need to be made. So try to find foods that's completely tasty to you. And sometimes the most things, the foods that doesn't taste the most tastiest is usually the foods that keep you the most healthiest. So be wary of that. Be wary of that shit. Because me, I like apricots. I don't like the taste of apricots and prunes, okay, or dates, okay. But I know for a fact that they make me feel exuberant ginseng, okay, and and, and and also ginger, okay, a lot of people don't focus on them things, a lot of people are very unhealthy, okay, they focus on looks and everything else, they seek validation, so um, other than that, we already talked about that now, since you now know how to unlock your so-called potential to eat more healthier and eat less, especially if you're a fat fuck, I'm a fitness trainer, as I said before, I'm not conceited, but I sound conceited, okay, let's get on with the next subject. The next subject is, when, when you guys are being in, encouraged by me to travel overseas, please make sure that you're not simping. Stay away from women who are not virgins and they don't have family members. Even if you do happen to meet these females when you're overseas, you have to keep them in their element to the age by the age of 40. This is a new rule. Because me, I, you already know that I brought my wife over here from Ethiopia. You already know a little bit about my history, right? So you already know I'm a virgin and I was never a simp, but I know a lot of you guys were simps. So you can change that. You can fix that problem, okay? You can start doing what I'm doing, charging used vaginas to the game and just start charging them for your services, right? But understand this. Once you do find a female, 
please understand this one thing. You gotta make sure you up your upfront. Polygyny, virginity is key. You don't have to fuck with their their tradition. It's up to her to make that decision. Not up to the fucking family, okay? And you know true tradition tradition is an African value. It's gonna go it's gonna be more African. The more African they are, the more they are going to believe in polygyny. So we don't need to hear any excuses, guys. We don't need to hear any excuses. So what did you learn from my video today? A person with a block head or a balloon head today. What did you learn from the balloon head today? Is any nobody's making fun of me? What the hell is going on? I, that doesn't make me feel good, y'all. Nobody's ripping on me and shit. Only Mr. Goodbread is ripped on me, and even Mr. Mr. God, the God Red Godfield, did not only make some jokes about me. That doesn't make me feel good if nobody makes fun of me. Okay? That, that, it's okay. It's okay. I know you're afraid because you think I'm mentally ill when I'm really not. But it's okay, okay? So you learned something real nice here. If you don't want to make fun of me, that's fine. I, you, 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 you figured out my dark psychology. By trying to make fun of me, it's like kind of like what I want you to do. But I'm not being made fun of, which is kind of strange. I got Mr. Br Goodbread trying to make fun of me. And doing certain disrespectful stuff. And I, I like that type of shit. I don't understand why a lot of you motherfuckers ain't doing that. I, I, I already understand why YouTube do this shit. They put me on the back burner because my shit is too raw and too real and too crazy for anybody to do what I do. But I did teach you something here. What, what is this in here? And I gotta make a video, a response video for Mr. Mr. Goodbread Show, Mr. Gingerbread Show. But proven to you that you don't want to act this way on camera at all. When you have women around, you don't just hold your tongue. You don't do that. That's a beta male construct. When I'm around people or if I'm on a stream, I try to be content. Look at this. Look at this Jeep. Look at that bright ass orange. That's nice, man. That's an orange is red. That was fire, man. Daddy. What? Lady is done doesn't exist. Look at this ground. I need better tires, man. I want to get me an all-wheel drive. La where's Laney at? Who's Laney? You can't go to school now. They at home. Well, when you get older, you'll be able to meet anybody you want. Okay. No, she told me she'll What park? The Washington State Park. Yeah. When? Well, we'll go in there right now as soon as I drop mom off. If she ain't there, too bad. That's the white part. That's where everything is all green and peaceful. Nobody's talking smack and shit. Because I want to smack nobody's head off. But anyway. What was I saying? Understand this. When you get a woman from overseas, regardless if she lives in their fucking parents' house or not, Keep that bitch over there because the Jezebel spirit will enter her body like my wife right here in the back and she'll think she got some sort of power, but she made the wrong move. My wife made, made the wrong move because I already told her I was Jesus and I told her I'm a psychopath. So now no matter what choice she takes, it's going to be screwed. So now she got to pay me for services or she could try to suck a dick or something. I don't know. I got shit planned on all different directions. I'm waiting for my Holy Spirit to say, wait till she fuck up. And you don't want that problem, okay? I don't have the problem. Are you playing shit out like fucking Batman? You gotta plan shit out. If you wanna beat soup if you wanna beat Superman, you really gotta think about it. And that's what you guys are lacking. You're lacking in that department. You don't think ahead. So when you do meet a female, you start to simp. And when you simp because she's beautiful, you gonna stick your dick in her, okay? You don't stick your dick in that broad. Don't stick your dick in that broad, and then you get her pregnant. Then what you gonna do? You don't think of any 10 steps ahead, so you guys going over here thinking you all alpha and shit, and you ain't no alphas, because you ain't talked to multiple women. You ain't got no fucking videos. You're not even on motherfucking Pornhub. You don't do shit, okay? And y'all guys are thinking, y'all gotta stop thinking in this mentality like that, man. I'm just trying to help you guys out, all right? And as I said before, I've lived in Ethiopia. I already told you, I talked to women I just, I talk to them only at the capacity to how they talk to me. If they talk to me a certain way, I talk to them the right way I'm supposed to talk as an alpha. Now, you betas and beta alphas, don't do what I do if you're in a relationship. And that's why I got to make a video, a response video to Mr. Goodbread, 
because that motherfucker needs some help. And I'm, try I'm only trying to help you guys out. And if you don't like the way I talk, get the fuck out of here, man. What the fuck is the problem? Don't come and don't don't come strike me and, and you don't you like a little bit of things I'm saying and then you say you pick and choose. No, it's not about picking and choosing. Everything is a fucking asset. Amer especially in America. You don't fuck around. <laughs> you, you just saw that one guy, what's his name? Um What's that one popular black guy who just got married a little while ago? I was just making fun of him. And I thought he was I would thought he was cool. I thought he was a beta alpha as a matter of fact. But he got married and shit. And I keep telling guys, stay away from marriage in this country. Guys are still becoming suckers to the fucking game. You get married, she think you, she's, she, in her mind, she's thinking about alimony and child support long term. She's thinking of collateral damage. That's how women are thinking, smarter than men. I can't believe y'all guys are losing this fucking battle, man. It's still going on to this day. That's why I always say, so many sims, so little time. So many sims, so little time. It's just I can't, I can't do it all. So you spread the knock. You spread, you spread the news. You guys should spread the news. I can't do it by myself. I know at least ten people, ten people on my crew who understand what I'm saying and they might spread my knowledge. Okay, ten people who watch my fucking videos don't really care about the rest of you, motherfuckers. You, you listen to it and spread it. You don't have to say where you got it from, because I know motherfuckers how most of you are. You're not going to acknowledge where you got it from. You're just going to say, oh, I made it up, or I found it from somewhere else. I don't really care about that. Just when you get it from me, and you don't want to acknowledge me, I know you won't never become an African alpha when you do that type of shit. Understand this. Assets is everything. You do not fuck around with emotions. You do not fuck around how pretty she is. Fuck all that shit. That's all superficial. Whenever I hear a fucking person who thinks they're alpha talk about how beautiful she has to be and all that stuff he already lost how emotional intent he got to be connected to her no 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 that dude is a fucking beta off the top don't want to hear it so you learn two things in this video learning how to mother oh did she got a fucking car okay okay she got a fucking car she's only 16 i didn't know that but other than that you make sure you eat the right foods to feel good. Experiment, because sometimes an orange cannot make a person feel good. It can make them depressed. Depends on the chemicals that you're eating. Also, you learned something in this video. When you find a female, make sure you she agrees with your 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 decisions. Okay, you know, polygyny, virginity is key. You have gotta record that shit like I did. Okay, you don't you don't play around with that. Keep her there until she, hey, she's 40. Keep her there. Don't, don't bring her. If you want to bring your, your wife back or your woman back, I hope her voice is telling you to do something. Because I told you I didn't believe in marriage. I had to get married and I tried to lose my passport. <laughs> you saying that shit Shit did not work. My voice is like, no, motherfucker. You ain't get stuck in this country. I tried to get stuck in Ethiopia, motherfuckers. But I got the whole experience on my side because I had no sins in my past. But other than that, I do not recommend you do what I do because I know you guys don't hear a third voice and nothing coming to your head to tell you or guide you and shit. I don't know how you can obtain that voice. I don't know. But I hear a voice talking to me all the time and shit. Lots of you motherfuckers don't have that ability. But other than that, y'all have a good day and a good night. I'm going to the park. I got to take my daughters and get some drink. I hope I get some milk and cookies tonight. I'm doing some milk and cookies tonight. <laughs> See you later. I know you smile. You know you like it. She got my two babies up in her sack, okay? But other than that, oh, she's sleeping? What the hell is she doing sleeping? Oh, my goodness, man. My, my wife likes to use the phone a lot, and I allow her to use the phone to make her demise happen quicker. This is another thing in this fucking video. Please, please, these phones are destroying women every day. Yes. Ooh. The best food, foods. Peace.